here's a picture of my son, completely unedited, exactly for real what he looks like. And you know, people will look me straight in the hair and ask me, where did he get that curly hair from? It's so beautiful. And I'm like, when you figure it out, let me know. I'm E. Marie. Thank you for being here. Thank you for visiting my channel. If I offer any value to you, if you find this entertaining, or if you know somebody that can receive value out of this also, consider subscribing so we can grow together and I can continue to offer you valuable information. Have you ever Googled, how do I draw realistic skin on a reverse drawing? Probably not. But if you have, for now, you're just curious what I'm about to say next. I'm here to show you what worked for me to draw this drawing. This paper is black Strathmore charcoal paper. And the medium I am using is charcoal. See all these skin defects, all these wrinkles, see all this stuff? This is what you're trying to recreate, the beauty of drawing skin. You get to draw all those wrinkles, zits, moles, and freckles that you don't like. And I recreated this skin texture by going in with my white charcoal pencil in a circular pattern. And then I would take a paintbrush of some sort and kind of smooth out all the harshness of the pencil lines. I found it much more easier to blend when I used this technique. I would repeat this process over and over a few times until I built up the texture that I was looking for. I have also found that the type of paintbrush you use is pretty important. These soft tipped paintbrushes allow easier blending. Once I built up what I needed, I would go in with the tortillon and blend even more. Doing this allows some of the black paper underneath to come through the medium. And then I would use the kneaded eraser to recreate the skin defects, like the freckles and everything. What makes the kneaded eraser so useful is you can mold it to different shapes. That way the skin that you're recreating doesn't look so artificial, it looks more natural. Say you got like this huge mole or a freckle that you needed to recreate. I would then go to the Tombow eraser. The reason why I like the Tombow eraser is it is a precision eraser so you can actually shape what you're doing and it removes the medium a bit easier than the kneaded eraser. If I needed to darken anything or if there was a pore that I would see, I would go in with my charcoal pencil and kind of just dab some of the medium on there and smooth that out and it would darken the area without putting too much of the black charcoal on there. And now I'm going in with my white because I'm trying to highlight the top portion of this sample area. And I just go in with the white charcoal and once again using the circular pattern, the, the tortillon, the paintbrush, I'm able to recreate the skin tone. And the more that you continue this process, the more it looks like skin, but it is a time consuming process. Patience is very key to this. Very convenient. I'm just showing what maybe you shouldn't do. You know, going in with your white charcoal and just harshly drawing lines, uh, horizontal, vertical, whatever, um, and then taking a harder paintbrush and blurring it all together, it just makes a giant white patch. Then taking your kneaded eraser and not really molding it, kind of doing the same exact pattern makes the skin look so artificial. It looks like a domino. So it's important to mix it up, reshape the eraser, reapply it, and doing all these things. Another thing, don't go in with your black charcoal pencil on top of this white charcoal and just start going to town trying to recreate shading because it really does mess up the look of the skin. Lastly, if you use an eraser, you cannot go in harshly. I say that because it actually damages the paper and when it damages the paper, you can't do anything to it. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful in regards to applying white charcoal to black paper. 
And you can see up close, that is what the skin texture looks like on this image when you get close up to it. When you back up, you can't see all those little marks that you made, but from a distance, it makes the image come to life. If you know of an artist in the making, maybe you're that artist. Like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you for watching.